Hey guys, so I get a lot of messages on Instagram asking me fishing advice. The thing about fishing advice is it's kind of different everywhere you go, you know, like what's going to work for cutthroats in Arkansas may not work for cutthroats in Utah. So I've gotten a good amount of messages about fishing brook trout in New York, or just any small streams in New York, which I know absolutely nothing about. But I was just recently visiting the city on a work trip, and I hit up my buddy Kevin, whose Instagram is at Lost River Drifter, and I went and filmed with him and we made this little informational video for you. This is uh, Kevin right here. Super good fisherman and about as knowledgeable as you can be about New York brook trout fishing. So check it out. The fish I like fishing for are native brook trout. Uh, it's the only native trout. Well, technically it's a char to the uh, east coast, the eastern seaboard of the United States. Um, they're the only native species to the East Coast. Since so much of their natural habitat has been destroyed, most of their most of the streams where they thrive in now are so far up in the mountains, and most of the mountains are protected. Um, so you actually, if you're if you're looking to pursue brook trout in New York, there is a there is a lot of access and a lot of water for you to fish them. Any blue line coming off the mountain is probably going to have brook trout. If it doesn't dry up in the summertime. Uh, most likely there's going to be brook trout there. I'm not going to give away the name of the stream we're fishing here, but uh, this is the northeastern corridor of the Catskill Mountains. How I like to approach a decent hole uh, is all about your angle of approach. Um, you want to stay low, you want to stay down, and you really want to think about how that fish is facing that current. Um, that's the biggest key. Uh, uh, one of the best things I used to do is is I'd approach holes constantly without fishing. Wouldn't have a rod, uh, wouldn't have anything in my hand to distract me, and you just watch the water as you approach, and you will see different angles you'll hit the water and where those fish will spook. It's pretty surprising because you can have a fish in a back swirl somewhere and be facing right at you, so as soon as you approach, you're gonna spook them. And if that one fish spooks, the others all will spook. They, it's like a it's like a nice little community they have. If someone gets scared, they all get scared. Uh, and you'll blow a hole real quick. So I like to use uh, rocks or trees as cover is a big one. You use it to your advantage. You want to cast over or behind a rock or a tree, something that's fixed there that they're used to seeing tall. Um, that will really, really keep them from spooking out. Yeah, Stay out of the water uh, is key. If the, you'd be surprised just how small of a vibration can set these fish off in these small mountain streams. So the more you can stay out of the water, uh, don't, don't topple any rocks. Uh, a, small, a small wobbling rock will just, will just blow a hole for you real quick. Flies, man, you can use just about any fly. Uh, brook trout are very aggressive, uh, and especially in these small mountain streams, they will eat, they're pretty opportunistic, so they'll eat pretty much anything you want to throw their way. Uh, but lately what I've been trying to do is throw larger flies to kind of weed out some of the smaller fish that they can't actually fit the fly in their mouth. Um, they'll still attack it all day, but they can't actually eat them. So I try to, I've been using a lot of hoppers, a lot of Dave hoppers, a lot of uh, foam body flies that are much bigger in order to kind of weed out the smaller fish. My preferred setup for fishing for brook trout is usually going to be a, a three weight. I prefer a little bit longer of a rod. A lot of companies make a three weight and like a seven six, uh, all the way down to like a six six, a two weight down to six six. I prefer something a little bit longer so you don't have to to work on your mending so much. Most of these pools aren't very long and you're gonna be making pretty quick shots into it. And if you can keep your rod tip up over the running water of a pool, um, it, it's a big advantage. So I like a three weight. I've been really stoked lately on this uh, Douglas three weight. They make it in an eight foot three inch rod. Uh, and it's just, a, it's an awesome little rod. So if you found this video helpful, please click subscribe below. If you go fishing any of these streams, if any of this stuff helps you out, please let me know. If you have any questions or want to know any information about where you're fishing, feel free to ask me. I may not know, but if I do, I'll do my best to answer it. I will also 
link Kevin's Instagram in the little bio below. So if you want to check him out, you totally can. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a great day.